Are you finding toilet training your autistic child an uphill task? It's a common challenge many parents face, and it's certainly not a simple one. There are a multitude of factors that can make this process uniquely complex for children on the autism spectrum. To begin with, let's understand that every child is different, and these differences are especially pronounced in children with autism. Their individual sensory experiences, communication skills, and routines can greatly impact their toilet training journey. Some children may be hypersensitive to the sensations associated with using the toilet, such as the feel of toilet paper or the sound of flushing, which can make the experience intimidating. Others may struggle with understanding the signals their body is sending them, making it difficult to anticipate when they need to use the toilet. Communication can also pose a challenge. Expressing the need to go to the bathroom is a complex process that involves recognizing the sensation, associating it with the need to use the toilet, and then verbalizing this need. For a child with autism who may have difficulties with communication, this can be a significant hurdle to overcome. Moreover, children with autism often thrive on routine and predictability. The process of toilet training can disrupt their familiar routines, causing anxiety and resistance. It's not uncommon for these children to prefer the comfort of a diaper over the unfamiliarity of a toilet. But amidst these challenges, it's important to remember that there is no one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one child may not work for another, and that's perfectly okay. It's about finding a strategy that works best for your child's unique needs and abilities, and being patient and consistent in your approach. And while it may feel like a daunting task, remember this. You are not alone. There are countless parents out there navigating the same journey and a wealth of resources and support available to help you along the way. So take a deep breath and remember, you're not alone in this journey. Toilet training can seem complex, but breaking it down into simple steps can make it manageable. Let's dive into this process together. First, the preparation phase. This involves making your child comfortable with the concept of using a toilet. You can do this by introducing them to the bathroom and explaining what it's used for. Show them the toilet, the toilet paper, the flush, and explain everything in simple language. Using a picture book or a visual aid can be very helpful here. Next, we move on to creating a routine. This is crucial because children with autism thrive on routine. Start by setting specific times for bathroom breaks. It could be after meals, before bedtime, or any other time that works for your child. The key here is consistency. Make sure these bathroom breaks happen at the same time every day. Now let's talk about rewards. Positive reinforcement works wonders in toilet training. When your child successfully uses the toilet, celebrate it. Give them a sticker, a small toy, or even a round of applause. The goal is to make them associate toilet use with positive feelings. Of course, there will be setbacks. Accidents are a part of the process. When they happen, it's essential to handle them with patience and understanding. Remember, your child is learning a new skill and it's okay to make mistakes. Use these moments as opportunities to teach, not to punish. Finally, patience is a virtue that you'll need in abundance. Toilet training can take anywhere from six months to a year or even more. It's a journey, not a race. So even if progress seems slow, don't lose heart. Each small step is a victory in itself. Consistency is the key. Stick to the routine and don't lose hope. The path may be challenging, but with dedication and patience, you'll get there. Next, we'll share an inspiring story of a parent who successfully toilet trained their child with autism. Stay tuned. Every struggle has a silver lining. Let's hear an inspiring story. Today, we're going to share a story about a parent named John. John is a single parent of a beautiful child named Sam, who was diagnosed with autism at a young age. Sam had a lot of difficulty understanding the concept of toilet training, which was a significant challenge for John. Like many parents, John felt overwhelmed. The process was more challenging than John had ever imagined, but John didn't lose hope. Instead, John focused on understanding Sam and his unique needs. John read books, consulted professionals, and joined support groups to learn more about the best practices for toilet training a child with autism. The journey was not easy. There were times when John felt like giving up, but the thought of Sam's progress kept John going. John started breaking down the process into smaller steps that Sam could understand. Using visual aids, establishing a routine, and rewarding Sam for his progress were some of the strategies John used. Over time, Sam started to understand each small success was a victory. There were setbacks, of course, but John remained consistent and patient. The key, John found, was to celebrate the small victories, no matter how tiny they seemed, and to remember that each child's journey is unique. 
After months of consistent effort, John was finally toilet trained. It was a significant milestone for both of them. Looking back, John realized the journey had not just been about toilet training, it was about understanding Sam, building a stronger bond with him, and learning to celebrate his unique way of seeing the world. Just like them, you too can turn your struggle into success. Remember the journey may be challenging but it's also rewarding. The key is to understand your child's unique needs, be patient, and remain consistent. And always remember, you're not alone in this journey. There's a whole community out there ready to support you. Sometimes it's okay to seek help. Professional guidance can make a world of difference. There's a certain strength in acknowledging that we don't have all the answers. It's not a failing to admit that we could use some guidance, especially when it comes to something as important as toilet training a child with autism. Let's talk about professionals. They're not just people with degrees and fancy titles. They're individuals who have devoted their careers to understanding the unique needs of children with autism. They've spent countless hours studying, researching, and working hands-on with children just like yours. They're equipped with a wealth of knowledge and an array of strategies that can be tailored to fit your child's specific needs. Seeking professional help can offer a fresh perspective, a new approach, and a personalized training plan. It's like having a roadmap that's been specifically designed for your child's journey. This doesn't mean you're stepping back, it means you're bringing in reinforcements. Enlisting professional help can also provide much-needed support for you as a parent. It can offer reassurance, reduce stress, and even provide a sense of relief. After all, you're not in this alone. There are people who understand what you're going through, people who can help. Don't view seeking help as a last resort. It's not an admission of defeat. Rather, it's a proactive step. It's about using every resource at your disposal to ensure the best possible outcome for your child. Remember, every child is different. What works for one may not work for another. That's why having a professional on board can be so beneficial. They can help identify the techniques and strategies that are most likely to succeed with your child. It's a collaborative effort, a partnership. Remember, seeking help is not a sign of weakness, it's a step towards progress. It's about doing whatever it takes to help your child thrive. So don't hesitate, reach out, seek that help. Because in this journey, every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. You're not alone. There's a whole community out there ready to support you. When it feels like you're climbing a mountain, remember, there are others who have made the same journey. They have tips to share, stories to inspire, and shoulders to lean on. Being part of a supportive community can make all the difference. You'll find parents and caregivers who've walked in your shoes who understand the unique challenges and joys that come with raising a child with autism. They are a treasure trove of practical advice from what worked in their toilet training journey to how they handled setbacks. But it's not just about tips and tricks. A supportive community offers emotional sustenance, a safe space to express your fears, your frustrations, and yes, your triumphs too. It's about knowing that you're not alone, that others share your journey. Together, we can make a difference. Toilet training your autistic child can be a challenge, but with the right approach, it's achievable. And we've journeyed through that approach together in this video. We've broken down the process into manageable steps, shared an inspiring story that shows success is possible, and highlighted the importance of seeking professional help. Remember, consistency is key. This journey may have its ups and downs, but staying consistent will make a world of difference. It's also essential to lean on a supportive community, those who understand your struggles and can provide practical advice and emotional support. And don't forget that you're not alone in this. There are resources and people out there ready to help. So reach out, ask questions, share your experiences. Leave a comment below if you have any feedback or suggestions. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Autism Guidance Hub for more updates and resources. Click the notification button to never miss an update. Thank you for watching and remember you're doing a great job.